All right, welcome back, Sleeper Gang. We are looking at a Demon Classic on the four-hour time frame. And if you are new here or gain any value out of the video, be sure to leave a like, comment, sub, all that fun stuff. Really helps channel grow. Really helps, yeah, channel grow. And I really do appreciate it. Um, other than that, be sure to hit the link down in the description below. And yeah, so without further ado, let's hop right on into ETC. So as of right now, we are on the four-hour time frame, as I have mentioned. And a couple things we have to go over. One, you can see what I'm highlighting right now is technically bullish market structure where you are making higher highs and higher lows. whoop de friggin' do Now, that being said, uh, overall low that you do want to end up holding right now is going to be 1771. Ideally, you don't want to break below around 1807. So... Ideally, don't break below that one. And then overall low is pretty much that green box or green zone that we do have down there. Moving on from here. We did previously talk about how this is potentially accumulation. If that is the case, then uh, we should be actually anticipating a pretty nice flagpole appearing here soon, meaning that we should start to see like a somewhat of a parabolic move, which if we also keep in the context what we have previously talked about here as well. Oh no, I didn't mean to do that. Um, what we previously talked about here as well is that we set a low back in June of 2022, rallied on up here, made a high, came back down. And as of right now, we are maintaining a higher low and we are making a, where we made this low, we made this high, made a higher low, made a higher high. So we are trying to shift over into bullish market structure here. And what I would say would at least more so more or less confirm this is actually being able to break above this green dotted line at 2492. Um, that being said, coming back on down, if as long as we are able to maintain this right now, then I do think we should be fine now. However, the other potential scenario here is if we do actually look back to this purple level right here this was a support and resistance flip level a highly reactionary zone even if we were to do this and then drag it out even further you can see how much more of a reactionary zone it is so what the other scenario here is is <clears throat> excuse me a potential fake out scenario where we actually do end up dropping back on down back testing that 17 dollar mark or that purple level support and resistance level and then uh ever so nicely crawling back towards the upside. Um, overall, I have mentioned, I do think ETC is going to be getting ready soon to be breaking above that $45 mark. And the first like major level of resistance should be around like 33 to $35. Um, other than that, there really isn't too much else for me to necessarily talk about right now other than like the larger time frames larger time frame you do have a engulfing candle on the weekly time frame at least as of right now you still have four days five hours to see how that ultimately ends up playing out so other than that that is going to be about it for the video none of this is financial advice these are all just my thoughts and opinions let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below and see you guys on the next one adios muchachos